Hello everyone, this is Ilonzo. Want to know how to get your first cloud job? Then please register for our webinar. We'll teach you everything that you need to know and answer your questions along the way. Hope to see you there. Hello everyone, this is Ilonzo. Want to know how to get your first cloud job? Then please register for our webinar. We'll teach you everything that you need to know and answer your questions along the way. Hope to see you there. My name is Richard Ferrer, and I can say I am cloud hired. That yes, come and join and get cloud hired. I'm cloud hired. I'm cloud hired. I'm cloud hired. Hey, go, go cloud architect family. I'm cloud hired. Well, I'm cloud hired, guys. So I'll just say I'm cloud hired. I'm cloud hired. I'm cloud hired. Thanks to go cloud architect. It worked for me, and now I'm cloud hired. But because of Google Architect program, I am cloud hired. See! I am cloud hired. Thank you, Mike and the Glow Cloud team. All right, here we are. Thanksgiving week, one of my favorite weeks of the year. Hey, everybody, I'm Chris Johnson. I am uh, the Chief Operating Officer here at GoCloud Careers. I've got Alonzo Coleman 
uh, who is our chief of content. And I've got Mike Gibbs, who is our CEO and founder. Okay, before we do anything, I've, I've got, I know we talked about this, but uh, <laughs> all, right, all right, I just, I had to do it. I can't, like, we, we all got the same background. That was kind of weird. So we, I, I got rid of my background, y'all. You'll, you'll be okay. <laughs> you'll be all right. It's so nice and uniform before. Chris is going to yeah, be the maverick today. I just I can't have everything like that. That's just too Stepford for me. I can't. <laughs> All right. So welcome to a special Thanksgiving week episode of Head in the Clouds with Mike and Alonzo um, and me. <laughs> um, Mike is still on talking timeout, so I am taking over MC duties and Alonzo is taking over guard duties to make sure that Mike stays put. So let's see, what are we going to get into? So, the, you know, uh, let's let's get straight into it. You know, normally we talk about all, all of our fun cloud architect and cloud engineer and cloud computing and, you know, cloud training. And we normally talk about all those things. But today we're not going to talk about that as much. So uh, but let me go ahead and get the get the, the fine print out of the way for you guys. So, you know, normally every week on Thursday, we have our free how to get your first cloud job webinar. So that will actually be tomorrow uh, because Thanksgiving is on Thursday and I am going to be in a food coma. So there will be no anything happening on Thursday. So this Tuesday, tomorrow, join us for the free How to Get Your First Cloud Job webinar. Um, and I hope somebody, I hope I've got somebody in place to put that in the chat box. I'll find out if somebody doesn't put it in the chat box here in just a few seconds. But Hey, there we go, Tyrone. All right. <laughs> so I got too many, too many plates in the air. So join us for the free How to Get Your First Cloud Job webinar. You can register for it in the link that Tyrone just shared in the chat box. On this webinar, of course, we'll talk about everything about the cloud architect role, um, what, the, uh, you know, what the cloud architect role actually is, what hiring managers actually want, uh, how to bypass HR. Geez, it did not take the bots long. Wow. Okay. Somebody take care of that bot. Uh, the, uh, you know, what, how to, how to deal with HR and the bots, apparently, uh, AKA the applicant tracking system, how to deal with that. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, then we'll talk about how we can actually, uh, help you become the cloud, the ultimate cloud architect or how you can do it on your own. We should, we give you the whole roadmap. So make sure you register for that and join us tomorrow at one o'clock Eastern time. So. The next thing I want to make sure everybody is aware of is um, that we do have our free and updated AWS exam guide. That's for both the associate and the professional certifications. So make sure you get your copy of that. Uh, somebody will be putting that in the chat box as well. Uh, that is completely free to you uh, to help you prepare for your AWS certification uh, exam. So make sure you get a copy of that. A lot of people put a lot of work into that. Um, hundreds of people literally have put their their work into that um, with hundreds of years of experience behind it. So make sure you get your copy for that. Uh, next thing I want to make sure everybody about is, hey, we got a Black Friday discount. <laughs> make sure to get your Black Friday discount. You know, everybody's got a Black Friday discount nowadays. So <laughs> we got a Black Friday discount. It's our largest discount that we do. So make sure you take advantage of that to uh, basically change your life. That's yeah. that we hear from so many people um, that that they their life has changed, uh, and you'll actually hear some of it tonight. Surprise! Mike and Alonzo have no clue what I'm doing, so I, I've gone completely rogue here. They're just Chris is the mad scientist. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Chris said, "Just show up," <laughs> they, and they didn't show up until literally like a minute before we went live. So there's that. Um, I was doing so Bikram yoga. No, so, um, so yeah, so not, not only uh, is this our largest discount, but also, um, you know, we, our, our prices are going to be going up soon. Um, yeah. You know, just like, unfortunately, like everyone and every business, uh, our costs have gone up um, over the past year or two. Uh, we've, we've, we've tried to put it off, but, you know, unfortunately, it is what it is. Um, uh, take advantage uh, now before. Yeah. Well, you so got 30% take, take, off. And the price before well, the price is as low as it's ever going to be. Yeah. 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 So I just want to make sure everyone's aware of that. That's a bit eligible on all of our programs, all of our payment plans, 
uh, make sure to take advantage of that. And, and Tyrone put the link into the chat box for, for our uh, training portal where you can see all the collections. Uh, so make sure you take advantage of that. So let's get into what we're here for. So we're here to talk about Thanksgiving. So oh boy. <laughs> for those of you not in the U.S., Thanksgiving is a very U.S. It's only a U.S. holiday, I'm pretty sure. Um, so regardless of the history of Thanksgiving, I'm not getting into that. Thanksgiving itself is a celebration of family and friends and what we're thankful for. Period. At its basic core and food. <laughs> so, um, you know, if you haven't had the opportunity to take part in a Thanksgiving, this is probably the closest you'll get until you, you get the opportunity to go to Thanksgiving or as a lot of people uh, like to do a Friendsgiving. Uh, not sure if Alonzo or Mike has ever been part of a Friendsgiving, but you know, for me. So, so basically Friendsgiving is for people that are too far away from their family. To, and so they get together with friends. They do Thanksgiving with friends. Whether something like that for COVID, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if I remember correctly, I think it was actually a friend's thing, like the TV show, if I remember correctly. I can't remember. Okay. But anyway, I, I started to experience it when I was in college, uh, obviously, because you get a lot of people that are, uh, at least the college I went to, there was a large international uh, student population. So they didn't, they didn't go home. So right. they had to stay. So we would invite them to Friendsgiving. And, you know, that's that's how I'm familiar with it. So let us know in the chat box if, if you know what a Friendsgiving is or if I'm just on my own out here. <laughs> I'll wait to see that in the chat box. Also, in the chat box, let's get a cloud hired, a hashtag yes. cloud hired. Just to, and give me a like on the like button. You know, that like button's looking a little lonely over there. So make sure you do that. So here's what I've got in store for us tonight. Like I said, Mike and Alonzo have no clue. I asked Mike and Alonzo to give me, separately, I asked them to give me their their five favorite Thanksgiving dishes, Thanksgiving foods. And well, separately, I asked uh, I asked the people in the Go Cloud Careers community to, if they wanted to record any messages for, for the show for us to put up um, there in the broadcast. So we've got a combination of a, uh, of a, of a Thanksgiving food countdown, I guess you could call it. And a, uh, and then we'll have some. Uh, we've got some some video messages from those in the Go Cloud Careers community. And uh, I don't really have any other structure than that, <laughs> um, other than to, to, if anybody's got a talk, you know, Mike or Alonzo, if there's something on your mind that you want to talk about, like I, I in particular actually have something to discuss, but I'll get to it after we start the food countdown. Um, right. And, uh, you know, of course, if we see any questions come in, hey, Greg, you got a nice one there. There you go. So, um, so, but if, you know, if anybody has a question during the, during the broadcast, pop it in the chat box. We'll take questions. Of course, this is, this is just a fun time. The only thing that I don't have planned is, uh, card games. I figured that was kind of hard to, to do across the internet. <laughs> so, <laughs> Anyway, um, are we ready to get to, get into our food countdown? Well, before we do, we have to remember that Alex and I will have similar foods. If anybody's ever seen the movie, um, hey, like, hey, 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 there's a whole aspect to this that they got to guess whose food is what. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. No, 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 no. No talking about the food. No talking about the food. So I had to cut Mike off because there's an aspect to this that we need your help in the chat box. Oh. So. When we get into the foods, I'm going to list the. We'll go to number five and we'll list all three of ours, number five. And then y'all have to guess who is which. So before we get started, is there anything else that we want to talk about other than food? <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll wait to see how the conversation transpires and I'm sure I'll have something to say. <laughs> oh, yeah. Say. All right. Feels so, like we're about to walk into a landmine right right oh, now. <laughs> it's gonna be fun <laughs> so anyway so hopefully everybody heard the instructions so what i'm going to do is i'm going to present to you everyone our number fives my number five mike's number five and alonzo's number five 
And then I'm going to ask each of you to guess in the chat box who belongs to who. Who belongs to what? Oh, my God. Who, what, when, where, why, whatever. <laughs> um, all right. So if we are ready, I am going to show our number five. So we're going to go from number five, least favorite, to number one, least, most favorite. So this is our collective number five. And I can't wait to see what everybody thinks. Here we go. All right, number five. So we've got sweet potatoes, peach cobbler, and caramel cake. <laughs> so in the chat box, let us know. I got to hear this. Who goes with what? I, I can only imagine what some of these responses are going to be. Let me see. Did I get? Did I put my music up here? Did I put my music? No. Up? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? No, I did not. Oh man. I didn't get my music, but I got my sound effects. There you go. <laughs> oh All man. Right. Oh, let me go find some music while we let these chats roll in. Um, All right. Mm. All right. Let's see. What is this, what's this looking like over here? So we've got uh, interesting. All right. What, what is Chris? What is Chris? So Mike is sweet potatoes. We got from from Greg. Uh, Greg says Alonzo is peach cobbler. So remember, everybody, these are you got to pick which one of us belongs to caramel cake and which one of us belongs to sweet potato. Which okay. one of us belongs to peach cobbler? So it's not, not, not these three aren't belonging to one person. One person is belonging to each of these. Tracy says, Mike is sweet potatoes. Alonzo cobbler, Mike potatoes, Chris caramel cake. <laughs> oh, Colin said sweet potato for Alonzo. Huh. Interesting. Greg B, caramel cake for Chris. Sweet potato matches Mike. <laughs> Alonzo sweet potato. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Mike, Mike sweet potato. Alonzo peach cobbler. Chris caramel cake. Chris cobbler. Mike sweet potatoes. Alonzo caramel. <laughs> Mike love peach it. cobbler. <laughs> caramel I love cake. It. I love it. Mike cobbler. Now, Mike, you can't say anything until we're completely done. Okay. <laughs> Because you're gonna you're gonna skew it for everybody else. Right, right. <laughs> you're gonna, yeah. Oh, all right. So these are Hello. some good ones. All right, are we ready? Yeah. Let's... Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Let's see. <laughs> Boom. There we go. All right. So we got right, we got buddy. Mike on sweet potatoes, <laughs> Alonzo on peach cobbler, and Chris on caramel cake. Mm, mm, mm. Man, I love some caramel cake. Yeah, peach cobbler is I only eat I only try to eat it like during this time of year because it is so good. If anybody eats it, you all you all know what it is. <laughs> it's so good, especially with ice cream. <laughs> oh man. I've never actually had peach cobbler. What? Never. Chris. Yeah. You are I denying know. yourself. I've had pecan One pie, the apple pie, pumpkin pie. Desserts in uh, the world. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. It, it, Mike. It is very good. When I was 16 years old, I was working as a waiter. And it did have some peach cobbler back then, and I really loved it. But I haven't eaten it since. And and Chris, just like Lady Godiva mentioned, you're from the South too. I know. And you never, it's like living in New York and never going to the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> you would be very well, surprised about what I have and have not had to eat. And my, my wife actually just came home. She might pop in here and give me a hard time. Who knows? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, we have a family friend and her peach cobbler. Oh man, we we pay her to just make it, and we 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 don't pay for the ingredients. We pay for her to make it. And wait, we just wait. So there's there. other cobblers. 
Oh yeah, you have apple, blueberry, peach is my favorite though, but a good apple cobbler, man, that's huh. it's just killer. But peach cobbler, that is my favorite. Huh. Never had Tracy, never. Tracy, she knows what it is. Tracy, you know. I gotta have a talk with my wife. Greg. Jeez. Hey, hey, who whoever likes peach cobbler, get a hashtag for that. I want to know who, <laughs> who who has who has who has similar tastes. Well, any cobbler for that matter, but I, I I prefer peach. That's my favorite. Anybody with the caramel cake? I know that's completely random for Thanksgiving, but there we go. Marla with the I love caramel cake. All right. Now, Mike, let's talk about the sweet potatoes. Skin on or skin off? Skin on, baked, obviously. Baked or stewed? Baked, yeah, stewed? Uh, well, it generally baked, although boiled is a little healthier because it drops the glycemic index. So I eat boiled when I have a chance, but otherwise it'll be baked. Gotcha. I, I I will say I like I like sweet potatoes. I like to sweet and, and just so everybody knows that it, number five didn't, didn't have to be dessert. Like that's just ha that just happened to be how how mine and Alonzo's came in was dessert. I got a question <laughs> for Mike. Okay, since Mike doesn't go the traditional path, do you at least put just a little bit of cinnamon on top of that, or just without? I add cinnamon because it's got an extremely high auric value, antioxidant capacity, and it lowers blood sugar. So, and it tastes good. I was I was going to ask. I'm like, is is taste a factor? <laughs> not, not in anything I eat. I'm, I'm trying to imagine Mike at my family Thanksgiving. Oh. Mike would just sit there and just order his paleo on his on his phone and just wait at the door. <laughs> yeah. I do. Although, 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 although Alex, Alex did tell me something about vegetables, but apparently I'll always overlook them. I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, this is yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> all right, all right. So that is our number five. Um, so the uh, so before we get into the uh, wait, who said no paleo? Oh, <laughs> I thought it was keto. But oh, okay. Not, I'm not I'm not paleo on Thanksgiving. Oh, you're not paleo on Thanksgiving. Oh, no, wow. I've got some non-paleo foods there. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, I'm, so before, I'm originally from Michigan. I'm not from the South. Yeah, Actually, we're gonna have a talk about that when we get farther up in the numbers, <laughs> Alonzo. We're, we're gonna have a talk about this. Okay. My wife, my wife was a sli was slightly confused when I told her your list. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. All right. All right. All right. So we'll we'll talk about that Mystery. when we get farther up in the list. But before we get farther up in the list, I'm gonna oh, not oh the <laughs> he's already going after the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. My stand <laughs> decided to collapse on me. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, all right. All right. All right. Back so, to our regular uh, scheduled program. <laughs> let me uh let me get into before we get to our number four or farther into the discussion, I've got some uh, I've got some Thanksgiving messages that I want to share from yes. some Can't of the people wait. in the uh, in the community. So I will do that. Let's That's go. a total surprise as usual. Everybody, happy Thanksgiving. I just want to say that I am thankful to be alive and healthy. And I hope that everyone will have a blessed day on Thanksgiving and try not to get full. See ya. <laughs> exactly what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Hi, Go Cloud family. My name is Mauricio. I'm from Mexico. And I'm grateful for because I'm part of this family and I found my gifts. And I would say that he is helping out every single person here to improve. Uh, their lives. So I'm grateful uh, to have found the Go Cloud Careers family, and I'm great grateful because I'm improving myself, my skills, and my life overall. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much, family and Mike, for giving us the chance to improve our lives. So uh, that's what I'm grateful for. Thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you, Mauricio. Hello, everyone. 
Um, I'm very thankful for being healthy, for having wonderful family, and for being a part of Go Cloud careers. I really um, appreciate the opportunity, and um, I really enjoyed taking classes in Go Cloud careers. And uh, I want to thank each one of you for creating so wonderful community as a Go Cloud careers. You could say I'm thankful for Michael Gibbs, <laughs> Alonzo Coleman, Chris Johnson, and the entire Go Cloud Careers team. <laughs> yeah! I love it. I love it. <laughs> that order was my favorite. That order was, that was my great. Favorite. That was oh, awesome. I thought he was uh he was about to. It sounded like one of the guys who were. He was introducing some sort of action flick or something. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm sitting there thinking, cool. this is like a Matrix intro. <laughs> and then he threw the glasses on. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that I think that last one was Drew, if I if I'm correct. Um, but but yeah, that that was great. That was great. So uh, so yeah, let us know in the chat box um, if you're uh, excited about Thanksgiving, if you've got any plans, share it in there with the, with us in the chat box. And uh, so I know I mentioned earlier that we might talk about some random things. So there's there's one thing that I wanted to bring up, and it's I guess it's an it's I guess you could call it like a current event type thing, but um, you know during uh, the environment, you know the economic situation that we're in, we talk about companies and people uh, and, and what they're looking for and what they want. And I know that Alonzo and I and Mike, one of the things that we look at, we, we, look, we, look, at, we look at how the companies are doing on the earnings reports that they do, on, the, on the, 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 what, they're, what they're reporting uh, for their quarterly, quarterly earnings and everything. And, you know, you can't help but notice that some of the how shall I say, traditional companies. They're doing a lot better than some of the non-traditional, newer, uh, new kids on the block, uh, hot topic type companies. But something that really struck me, and, and, and so our parts of, uh, most of our conversations revolve around the fact that people are comfortable with the way that those businesses are handled and mm -hmm. run, and that that's why they seem to be more resilient during times like this, like Intel and IBM doing better than maybe Amazon and Facebook, you know, that, that type of conversation. But what happened over the weekend, the, I don't know if any of y'all saw what happened with Disney over the weekend. No. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that one. What? So yeah. Two years and ago, Warner brothers. Two years ago. The 15-year CEO of Disney stepped down, like it was a planned, like you know, planned exit, planned retirement. Stepped down, served a year as the executive chairman, and then you know, completely, completely, uh, you know, retired. Um, yeah, Lady Godiva, the old boss is the new boss now. <laughs> well played, well played, Lady Godiva. <laughs> in the in the dead of the night on a Sunday. Disney announces that they've replaced their CEO with their former CEO. Mm -hmm. And if that's not a sign that people want comfort, yep. familiarity, yes, and what they what they know and what they trust, yes, they don't want any rocking the boats. They don't want flashy. They don't want new. They don't want uh, that. They, they want they want safe. And it just, like, it just, it, it caught me off guard. It caught everybody off guard. I mean, no, don't get me wrong. Nobody was hurt that, <laughs> that it happened. <laughs> nobody was happy with the way things were going. But it was very shocking to me that they literally brought back the former CEO <laughs> on a Sunday. <laughs> yeah. That's how, apparently... I'm guessing in the boardroom and behind closed doors that everybody was just they, like, it's got to go. It, it has to, it has to happen now. Not going to happen anytime, any other time we're doing this now. We can't do it. We can't take this anymore. 
You know, it's it's kind of interesting if anyone knows from a historic standpoint that on Sunday nights, that's when Disney would show their movies as a kid. Do you remember that, yeah. Chris? I know that's see this that's that's exactly like that's what went through my mind. I'm like on a Sunday. In that, that interesting like, that used to be that was Disney's night, like you said, like even when I was exactly. growing up. That was, yeah. And, and I thought that it's kind of like uh, uh it, it seemed like it was a a, a ringtone to come to two back to simpler times. Yep. Of uh which is why I thought it would be on a Sunday, which I yeah. thought it was pretty interesting. That that's what I that was my takeaway. Yeah, I was just first first of all, I was just I was completely caught off guard. It's a Sunday. Yeah. It's a freaking Sunday. Like yeah. they can, just any company doing that on a Sunday. <laughs> That's yeah. like that's like the government making an announcement on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but but anyway, so I but once I once I thought about it, I was like, you know, that like I said, it truly shows that that people want that familiarity. They want that safety. Yeah. And it just got me thinking about the conversations that we had had about um, about the traditional. I don't know if traditional is right or the old guard, you know. Uh, of the tech companies same way you know your cisco's and your intel's and your ibm's and your microsoft's and your actually if you notice the real tech companies the ones that truly did heavy digital transformation microsoft Mm -hmm. cisco ibm they're not getting knocked down it's the fang companies yeah they've been beaten down i mean microsoft is still almost a two trillion dollar company and and Facebook has got less less market cap than Pepsi. Well, to be to be fair, yeah. Facebook has two things working against them: they're hemorrhaging money like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. And the other side of it is when Apple enhanced their privacy a couple of years very recently. Yeah. The effectiveness of social media paid ads went from this to almost nothing. So yeah. their business model is in serious trouble unless they do something about it. Mm. Yeah. And I think that's probably the uh, response based on what you just said, Mike, is is how they're handling Meta. Yes. And the subsequent, uh, yeah. Yeah. I just, like I said, there's no purpose to our show today except to talk about food. So I figured I'd throw out that that little bit of conversation. And of course, Mike and Alonzo, uh, not right now, but if you've got a topic that you want to bring up and chit chat about later after we do another another one of our top five, feel free. I know I didn't give y'all any preparation for that, but <laughs> adapt <laughs> and improvise. We, we <laughs> always, I'm always happy to talk about financial performance, why companies do layoff, who they hire during a layoff, which is still they hire lots of people, who they get rid of and why, and how you can protect yourself and how you can get hired in a recession anytime you want. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's do a, uh, let's, let's, let's do number four on our food and then we'll, uh, We'll see what else we got to talk about. So, all right, number four in our top five. I hope y'all are ready to uh, to guess who is which one. All right, so here we go. If these are our number fours. Mm. So we got mac and cheese, sweet potato casserole, and green beans. So I definitely want to see what people think. Uh, oh, I can't wait to see this one. This is... <laughs> oh, come on. All right, so here we go. We got Daniel Mitra says green beans is Mike. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what everybody else has to say. Yes, I cannot wait. It's my, apparently, the API is going a little slow over here. All right, casserole is Chris. Mac and cheese is Alonzo. <laughs> Mac and cheese is Chris. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Mac and cheese, Alonzo. Oh, Daniel corrected himself to say <laughs> to say Mac and cheese. Is- <laughs> <laughs> Colin says Mac and Le- <laughs> Mac and cheese is Alonzo. All right. Let's see what Alex says. Alex says green beans are fasala. Yeah. Yeah. For Mike. Casserole for Chris, mac and cheese for Alonzo. Alonzo, green beans, Mike, mac and cheese, Chris, sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, sweet potato casserole is Chris, mac and cheese, Mike. Green beans, Mike, casserole, Chris, mac and cheese, Zoe. 
Ah, green beans. <laughs> green beans, Mike, sweet potato, Alonzo, mac and cheese, Chris. The way I keep naming these off, we're gonna be we're gonna be hitting keywords for the Food Network, you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike is green beans, sweet potato casserole is Alonzo, mac and cheese is Chris. Mike green beans, Alonzo casserole, Chris mac and cheese. Green beans, Mike, mac and cheese, Alonzo, casserole, Chris. It seems like everybody's kind of got kind of solidified on who the green beans belongs to. <laughs> I think they caught on pretty fast. Yeah. Oh, uh, there we go, Marla. Who green beans equals go cloud architect. I love it. <laughs> Mike, green beans. All right. So, yeah. So, I think everybody's got the green beans figured out. So, now it's green down to the, who, who's the sweet potatoes belong to and who did the, who's, who's the mac and cheese belong to. It it seems kind of like they got a toss up between uh, between the mac and cheese and the sweet potatoes. Wait, yeah, whoa, whoa, I got both of these. I, I'm not going to complain about that one. <laughs> They're all good to me. <laughs> um, all right, all right, all right. So mac and cheese, Chris casserole, it's Alonzo, and obviously Mike. I mean, my... <laughs> <laughs> Mike, I think those look like Turkish good. green beans. They are yeah. Greek. They are Greek green beans called fasalaikia, which are very similar to Turkish green beans. Yeah. All right. We are we ready? Are we ready? Let's see it. All right. All right. Let me let me let me go over here. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Uh... <laughs> Boom. All right. All right. So we got Alonzo with the mac and cheese. Me with the sweet potato casserole and Mike with the green beans. So there's a caveat. If you see, there's marshmallows on my sweet potato casserole. I do not eat the marshmallows. <laughs> do not eat the marshmallows. My wife is confused by it. Everybody's confused by it, but I don't want the marshmallows. <laughs> That's like cereal without the milk, man. <laughs> <laughs> don't like the marshmallows. I just like sweet potatoes. <laughs> you know, I, I, I love Mac, my dad. He was a great cook, and he could make mac and cheese on the grill. On wow. the grill. He would get this big cast iron skillet, and he would mix up all the ingredients, like all this like spicy, or um, he'll make like Texas style, or he'll make like just all these four and five cheeses, and he would he knew how to do the right temper. This was not on gas, mind you. This was all flame. And he was able to get it down low enough where it would cook on its own and it would have this smoky flavor as well. Oh my gosh, that was so good. You know what, Alonzo? You come to Florida, we will make that, but we will use zucchini noodles instead. It'll be great and healthy. I almost went to cooking school because I like to cook so much. But you come here. I can, I'll, I'll, I'll try it. I am, I am a foodie, so I, I love to eat it. different stuff. If you get somebody that knows what they're doing, yeah. like zucchini noodles, um, it's good stuff. What is what is it? Zuc no, 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 no. Squash? Uh, no. Spaghetti squash. Oh, is hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Bring Alex on. <laughs> He's more than welcome. <laughs> Butternut squash. Okay. Butternut squash. That's good too. Yeah. So I had to I had to ask Alex what her quote unquote sweet potatoes are when she's got the the healthy. It's butternut squash, apparently. So yeah. But uh, I remember the first time she she did butter she did butternut squash as sweet potatoes for me. I didn't have any clue. Like that's how good good she did it. But if you don't have somebody that knows what they're doing, it yeah. yeah. Doesn't doesn't work doesn't work, but yeah. So <laughs> sweet potato casserole without the marshmallows for me. Oh, that, that's I've learned how to make a really good one. Although my dad never taught me that recipe, but I I definitely love to make mac and cheese when I have a second. And then my wife she loves um, when I add uh, bits of lobster in it. I said okay, let's try right. it out, and it worked. And uh, yeah. The whole casserole pan is scraped clean. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's laid out on the sofa in a coma. <laughs> I never actually had sweet potato casserole until I met Alex's family. Before that, really? 
Before that, I was green bean casserole. That was my thing. But yeah, you know, a lot of a lot of my stuff I didn't have until I met Alex. Before that, I was like a a Wendy's and a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I was college food, Chris. Now you're a Chick Fil A guy. <laughs> now I'm a Chick. Well, that's when that's when I don't have Alex nearby. I get you. <laughs> Like, but I mean, for the whole weekend, I've had freaking uh, barley and beef soup. It's been great. Like, I love it. It's amazing. See, healthy choice. Yeah. But, um, but yeah. So, all right. All right. Well, um, I'm going to uh, take this down. going to uh, give us a quick 30 second break here, guys. I know it's, I know it. Doesn't seem like much, but just give us a 30 second break and we'll be right back. Oh, hopefully, we'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back. Practicing the food coma already. Even, even if Cindy's <laughs> saying you can't do this, I will still be back. Uh, all right, we'll be right back. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Ilonzo. Want to know how to get your first cloud job? Then please register for our webinar. We'll teach you everything that you need to know and answer your questions along the way. Hope to see you there. All right, so, don't do we be back. All right, so, got a question. Anybody got any special Thanksgiving plans coming up? I do. Only, only a couple of days away? I do. Oh. Then my wife is away in Philadelphia. Uh oh. Uh oh. And my in laws are in Philadelphia. And my family's in Philadelphia or Greece. So I have, I'm going to get some very fresh tuna, some very <laughs> fresh scallops, some very fresh shrimp. And Cindy, my beautiful little cat, and I are going to have a Thanksgiving feast. <laughs> my oh. cat loves these things, especially for us. So I'll make her some seared ahi tuna. Little scallops without the garlic on them, and Cindy will be happy as can be. <laughs> I love it. All right, I guess that's. I guess that is a special Thanksgiving plan. Uh, what yeah, about a you? A romantic Ron's... night with me and my beautiful little kitten. My wife's away, so we'll just have a quiet night of it. Yeah, yeah. La last year, uh, Alex was out of town for Christmas, so it was me and the cat. Uh, but we didn't. I didn't quite do the. Sport cat treatment that you yeah she, she eats, <laughs> Cindy eats good. <laughs> so, you know my cat likes Chris. Yours might like. So instead, you know how people have wine. My cat yeah. likes the juice of a tuna can. So I put it in a little wine glass from her, and she sticks her head in and she drinks it. She absolutely. Oh loves yeah, it. no, my cat. We we had uh, uh, Friday night. We have what's called um, chicken stuff. It's literally just like chicken and like canned chicken and. Uh, can of mushroom soup and 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 just and, and mixed together with, and then just thrown on top of biscuits. It's literally just chicken stuff, like just a made, made up name. Fine. And uh, I mean, it's great. It takes like fifteen minutes. It's amazing. Uh, but my cat, but but we give the cat the chicken juice. <laughs> anytime we do tuna spaghetti or tuna casserole or anything, we get she gets the tuna juice. Like she will do nothing but eat the, eat the juice, drink the Love juice. It. Yeah. So this, I bet she makes yeah. a funny sound when she drinks it, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, so you got any any special plans uh, with you guys, Alonzo? Well, my, my wife, her birthday is on the 30th, so we probably might go home and fly. We're not sure, depending on what she wants to do. She hasn't told me yet, but it's <laughs> always uh, some shopping involved. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, she I uh, loves to shop. So <laughs> if nothing else, we'll end up at the mall. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, so I'm actually, every year we do Thanksgiving at Alex's parents' house. And it's like a big deal. Um, but uh, so this year um, we are, Alex is not able to go. And so if we didn't go, it would be just, Alex's mom, Alex's parents, and like ten non-family members <laughs> at their th at their family Thanksgiving. 
So I am I'm going without Alex and take and dragging my parents along so that, <laughs> so that Alex's family is like, all right, we got some family here. It's not just other people. <laughs> but so I'm going I'm going to see her family. She she just started a job a few months ago, so she's got to uh, figure out the PTO situation. But otherwise, she'd be there in a heartbeat. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to help her mom out. pretty much. <laughs> We're gonna take one for the team, huh, Chris? Oh yeah, hey, that's uh, <laughs> that's what happens when you get married. Poor Chris. <laughs> well, that that's a good thing. I, I have a great relationship with my uh, my mother in law, so you know, yeah, that's that's an awesome thing. But, uh, yeah. And I do too. My mother in law, she's like the cutest thing you've ever seen in your entire life. You walk in, you must be hungry. I've cooked these forty three things for you already. Um, <laughs> you have any friends here? I'll feed them too. I remember one yeah. time we were in Greece, and we brought her with me, and my, fa my father-in-law was working at his restaurant. Literally speaking, we had gone to the islands for a couple of days. My wife and I, when we came back, there was a cat in the house. And I asked my mother-in-law, where'd the cat come from? And she said it was hungry and homeless. So I went to the store, bought a chicken, cooked the chicken for the cat, and now we have a cat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wonder if Cindy's ever going to have a little uh, brother or sister, if you'll get another uh, one. Oh, uh, you know... I keep thinking about it, but I'm not sure that Cindy likes to play well with others. So <laughs> yeah, see, Cindy's Sunny, like, Sunny, no does one. Not, <laughs> Sunny does not. Sun, Sunny tried to kill another cat. <laughs> oh, gee, so, not we, so funny. We had to lock the we had to lock the other cat in the bathroom to save it. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. Sunny, Sunny is not a very friendly to cats. She's not very friendly. So I got a uh, I got another uh, another another video. I want to I got some more messages here that I want to share That's from the uh, from the community. Give me Love just these videos. I gotta find it. I don't know where I save these things. I'm kind of like you sometimes, Mike. All right, so here we go. Let's see. There we go. Happy Thanksgiving, Cloud family, and most of all. Happy Thanksgiving, Mike. I am extremely thankful for a world-leading industry expert like Mike to take the time to create this program and teach us the ropes. I haven't seen anything like it. Once again, happy Thanksgiving, Mike. Hello. In this year's Thanksgiving, I am thankful for my life. I am thankful for my family. I am thankful for my friends. And I'm also thankful for being connected with Go Cloud Architects and the opportunity to actually transcend my career. And that's all I'm thankful for in this Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to my Go Cloud family. I want to thank everybody, including Chris, Alonzo, Leo, Chow, and the whole team behind Mike and his amazing family that he has created. I love you guys. I miss you. And you have a fantastic holiday season. Bye. That's awesome. Hello and happy Thanksgiving to each and every one of you. Great. I can truly say that this year has been a whirlwind, but I'm most thankful that I have my family to support me in my continuing pursuit of my dreams. I'm thankful for the people at Glo Go Cloud Careers that have dedicated themselves to truly giving us the skills that we need and presenting us with the most relevant information that will make us successful in our endeavors. And I'm so thankful that I have the health and mental functions to continue to try to achieve my dreams. I really appreciate you all. It's so awesome to be a member of this dynamic group, and I wish you all massive success in the coming year. Awesome. Man, yeah, I wish I could I articulate you. myself like some of these people, man. Bless I, you. It's inside, Chris. We're going to get it out of you. It's all I right. I, I am not an articulate person at all. <laughs> We're going to pull that out of you. <laughs> Those are awesome sentiments. And I, I like I call, I, I like that victory lap that uh, that Bob has grown. I like that. Looks good, Bob, if you're here. <laughs> it looks real good. And it's so good to see you know him with his great cloud security architect job. I love it. I yeah. love these stories. 
All right. So anything uh, we want anything else we want to discuss before we get back to our top five countdown? I'm no. thinking. No, oh, yeah. not yet. I'll get on the Bob thing for one second. The Bob thing. Every oh, day wow. somebody says, Mike, I'm 50. Can I be a cloud architect? And I yeah. say, Yeah, of course you can. And you know, when Bob got hired, it was a touching moment for me and, and another gentleman, his Sig, who was 61. So that day we got two 60 year olds hired, Bob being 61 and Sig being 63. Mm -hmm. And what it tells me is, just go after your dreams and never let anybody tell you no. I've been told no so many times. I mean, I got told, I mean, I was told I was too too dumb to go to college, so I got two master's degrees while working full-time just to prove to somebody, like, yes, I could do it. I was told you can't go from medicine to network engineering without doing all these silly <clears throat> little jobs first as a stepping stone, and six months later, I was a senior engineer. And a month or two later than that, I was a lead architect. I got told by 13 doctors I'd never walk again after my last injury. And I may not be able to travel to visit my family, but you know what? I'm able to be the CEO of a company and watch people get hired every day. Just go after your dreams and never let anybody tell you no. Well, I, I definitely echo that sentiment. Never let anyone tell you what you can't do. If you've got the ability, you've got the fortitude, the tenacity, always stay focused. One of the things that I do myself is create a vision board. And you just put, whether it's a digital one or you can go on Pinterest or anything else, look at your, think about your goals, write them down, find a visual graphic on the internet and post it on a Word document or whatever and give yourself set times on when you can have this or this goal or whatever, but always look at it, always add it, adjust it, but always stay focused on your goals because you're going to run into people, naysayers, and unfortunately, it may be relatives. It may be uh, your, your very close-knit friends and family, but never let anyone dissuade you from your goals. Stay focused never. every day. Never let anybody tell you you can't do something. Right. And when they do, to me, it's motivation to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Anyone who says you can't, Prove them wrong. Not only will it be something awesome for you to say that despite it all, I made it, but to be able to hopefully maybe elevate their negative thinking into doing something that they never thought was possible. Success is infectious. Yes. Robert Welch is going to be a great grandfather. Oh, man, that's great. Great oh, for the great God. grandfather. Congratulations, Robert. Yeah, Bob, we were talking about that nice goatee you got there. That's that's a victory lap. I love it. Looks good on you, man. He got he got he got two great comments in here. It's never too late to change your life either. I like that. Right. And also, we got to let them know, Mike, that Sig Wolf was in Germany as yeah. well as Bob being stateside. So that also proves that no matter where you're from what time zone you're on or in or whatever, that the, the, the technique works. The development program works. We're able to get you cloud hired, stay tenacious, stay hungry. The program works if you do. And, and also it's not about age as well. You think about all the, the plethora of knowledge that someone of Mike's, uh, by my age or, or Bob's age or whatever, and you use that as a foundation towards your goals. And then you couple that with tech experience, business acumen, leadership skills, CXO relevancy, soft skills, emotional intelligence. Uh, that's a lot of combinations um, of, of just knocking down any barriers towards being a cloud architect. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's get back to our countdown. So we are at number three. Number three. Of our favorite foods. Now, remember, the object of this game is to determine which of us matches which of the foods. So there's going to be three items on the screen. So you need to let us know in the chat box, what is Chris like? What is Alonzo like? And what is Mike like? So make sure you uh, make sure you take care of that in the chat box. So let it, here are our number three items. Now remember, these are completely independent and had no relation <laughs> to each other. <laughs> so 
So we got spinach pie, and then we got Cajun turkey, and we got fried turkey. I had to put the two because I love these. They were, li they were listed differently. <laughs> they were, they, the names were listed differently, and so we had to dis we we had to have a discussion to figure out what the difference what what was. what what each one was. So it, it turns out that they look pretty much the same. <laughs> so you got you got spinach pie, you got Cajun turkey, and you got fried turkey. One of these things, it's doing its own thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got we got T Dog, who I think T Dog joined us. Not, I don't know if he's joined our community, but I've just I've just noticed his name today for the first time on our YouTube channel. So he's he might have already figured you out, Mike. I don't know. I think Mike's, he probably did. T Dog is yeah, he's pretty. All right. All right, so we got Mike Spinach, Alonzo Cajun, and Chris Fry. Hmm. And see, 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 this is this is where I got really confused. I was like, and wait, Greg got the pie. right name too. I was about to say spinach pies. That, that Greg, when I saw Greg, yeah. you are on point. <laughs> so we got okay, okay. So we got fried is Chris and Cajun is Alonzo. <laughs> Alonzo is Cajun. <laughs> spinach is Mike. Cajun is Alonzo, fried is Chris. <laughs> Cajun and Raisin. <laughs> <laughs> Mike equals fried turkey. <laughs> Mike might be a turkey, but I don't know if he's fried turkey. I don't know about <laughs> fried. Can we give him some credit here? Spina Curvica actually has white flour in it, and this is the only day each year where I have white flour in my diet. Wow. Look at you. Oh, I think I, Mike just gave it away, which one his is. I don't think there was any question. There was no question. Hi, uh, you daredevil, so you. We got, all right, so we got the say, people using the Greek name for it, so I'm pretty sure they figured that one out. Do you know how confusing it was for me to see the list and see Spanish pie? I'm like, what the what the heck is Spanish pie? <laughs> and then I, then I look it up, and I'm like, Spanakopita. I had that last night. Like, wow, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. hilarious. All right, hilarious. so we got fried turkey as Alonzo, Cajun turkey as Chris. All right, Alonzo is Cajun, fried as Chris. How don't you guys know that I wouldn't have any Greek spinach pie? How, how, how do you know Charles. this? <laughs> oh, here we go. This is Charles Mills. This is spinach pie. I mean, technically, I had it the other night, but no, no, not for these. <laughs> All right, Chris is fried, Alonzo is Cajun. So should we should we tell them about the fried and the Cajun, Alonzo? I think it's time to break it down, Chris. I mean, it's very confusing. It, it can be very confusing. All right. There we go. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I think they. I think the majority of everyone pegs me and Chris and Mike. Oh. What gave it away? I wonder. <laughs> All right. So, but you Alonzo. know what? You can go to Tarpon Springs and have this anytime you want. I I can have yeah, it. I've been looking at Tarpon Springs as well. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is great. <laughs> I can have it anytime I want. All right. So, Alonzo. Let's talk about this Cajun turkey and this fried turkey. Well, okay. So what is Cajun turkey? And then I'll tell you what fried turkey is. <laughs> Cajun turkey is very much like fried turkeys. But what you get is this uh, spice injector, and you mix up like a, a Cajun spicy roux, and then you inject different parts of the turkey all around the turkey itself, and then you're able to glaze it over in this same roux, and then that's when you drop it. Now, mind you, never drop a frozen turkey in, in peanut oil. <laughs> you got, just call the fire department right now. So, call the bomb squad. <laughs> call the bomb, right. <laughs> and just oh. stand 600 feet and just watch it go off. But oh. it's, it's very much like a fried turkey, but it's a couple of those um, uh, spice uh, uh, procedural nuances. So, yeah, yeah, you inject it, and then you drop it into the peanut oil. Yep. So truly the difference between your turkey and my turkey is the, I would call it smothering. Mm -hmm. 
are slathering slathering on the, on, on the outside. <laughs> that is the only difference. We ours is just literally just injected with the Cajun roux, and I I I, I had to get a store bought thing to emphasize the graphic. Otherwise, nobody would have figured out what the <laughs> what the, the inject they wouldn't have figured out the injection mixture like they, it, are you trying to move on my skill set chris is that what I, you're doing i, I couldn't I, there was no other way to 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 portray that in a in a graphical <laughs> <laughs> so i had to go with the i had to go with the i think i got zatarans i think is zatarans it? yeah yeah so uh but yeah so basically fry, my fried turkey is cajun injected <laughs> probably too much and never like too much <laughs> now i this is another example of something that i never had until i met alex and um because th- to be fair before i even met alex thanksgiving really wasn't much of a a, a thing for me and my family um but for her, her family it's huge we do anywhere depending on the year six to ten turkeys Oh my God. How big yeah. a family does she have? Well, it's the amount of people that come, family, friends. You got to remember, we're in the South. Her mom yeah. is from the South. Her mom likes to host. <laughs> All the so, mothers that I know, they yeah, love to so host. You know, you, you know what we're talking yeah. about. So, um, <laughs> and I know something about big families. My wife has 16 first cousins. <laughs> And yeah. everyone's even named Mike or Lisa. Yeah. And then they all have two plus children themselves. And they're all named Mike or Lisa for the most part. So That yeah. reminds me of this movie my wife made me watch. It's called My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Jewish, wedding, Nick, Jewish Nick, weddings Nick, are the Nick. same. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but, yeah, that's – so the the – in our when we do Thanksgiving, we actually have a dedicated what we call appetizer turkey. It's mm-hmm. literally the first turkey we fry, and then because we've got anywhere from five to nine other turkeys after it, we're eating this turkey while we're <laughs> while we're doing <laughs> while, while we're doing the rest of it. <laughs> like this rolling buffet of turkey, oh, turkey, yeah. turkey. It's great. It's great. I love it. But but yeah, I never experienced um, turkey. So I've got so I'm in Missis. I'm from Mississippi, and and West Tennessee uh, is where our family's from. So I get the Cajun and fried turkey thing. How did you, from Michigan? <laughs> how did you get into the whole Cajun turkey thing? You know, I have. I have fr- I've had the the privilege of being able to travel to a lot of different places and know a lot of friends and so as actually it was my wife who introduced me to it. And so originally well she's from Michigan as well but she's been able to travel and we've known each other since college but she spent some time in New Orleans and that's when she found out about it and so she mm-hmm. said this was years ago when she said okay I'll, let's do a fried turkey and add some cajun spices i said okay never had it let's go for it so i've been hooked ever since but yeah i, I i've had a chance to live in michigan new york alabama texas phoenix um i spent some time in new orleans as well so you know having that with a side of uh red beans and rice is always the way to go yeah, coma food. <laughs> and a nice uh, hand grenade wouldn't be bad either. <laughs> but, you know, it's really cool. It's like I think about, like, this time of year and everyone working so hard to become cloud architects. And I think about those who have matriculated to new careers. I think this is going to be a really shining moment for you to be able to say i'm a cloud architect and try to even now while you you guys know how as you you know recently worked with chris is trying to get them to understand what cloud architects do and everything that's involved with it so i think this is this is a great time and i just want to say you guys are doing awesome no matter what time of year it is you guys are really working hard 
You guys have really integrated new and old people into the um, into the uh, community on the Slack app. And just the overall effort you guys do, what I watch day in and day out, I am extremely proud of what you all are doing. Extremely. You know, while we're at it, it's a great feeling to be at a, at a family dinner and say, look, I'm changing my life. I'm going to raise my income by an extra $100,000 a year. I'll be better able to take care of the rest of the family. It's a, it's a good feeling. Yeah, it is. And Chris is muted. Yeah, and so piggybacking on what Mike says, uh, anybody in here watching that is in the Cloud Architect or Development Program, remember, you have to come to class tomorrow so that you can practice explaining tech to a non-tech person. Got to get ready for that Thanksgiving. <laughs> so uh, Remember so, who his dad is. <laughs> <laughs> We've already done this once, and I gave some of them strict and uh, some pretty good instructions. I said, you got to come back. I'm ready to ready to see how you do, do after this. Um, all right. Uh, tomorrow's class, um, Tuesday classes are, are at 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern time on Tuesdays. So... Um, excuse me. Oh, I'm ready. Yes, I am ready, Lady Godiva. <laughs> All right. Um, so I, I got some more messages that I want to put in the uh, put up here for you guys. This uh, is great. Actually, this one is one message, and I was kind of I kind of debated with myself around whether to share it because it's kind of long, but I think it's worth it. Speakers up. Love these messages. Make sure your speakers are up. Well, yeah, it's like you're celebrating your birthday all over again, Mike. Yeah, my brother was here. I couldn't stop crying the whole time. Good morning, y'all. What am I thankful for? First, I want to thank God for life. I thank God for throughout the COVID. I am still here. And I also want to thank God for me not making a great mistake by spending huge amount of money for so-called join the team and pay instrumental. It was hard for me. I almost made the mistake of doing it, but all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. I, I bumped into a YouTube and I, I found Mike. How to get your first job in cloud without an experience. How, how you can transform your past experience to present that will fit in for the job you are looking for. It sounds interesting to me. I began to watch the video, uh, watch the video. Then I felt like one week, I have to put up a call for those that wanted to enroll in their program I'm going to pay like $15,000 paying instrumenta. I have to call them that I'm no more interested. They ask me why. I say it's a decision myself. I, I took upon myself. Then I joined the free web now. I didn't ask questions, but I was listening to what's going on. It sounds so interesting. I, I felt that this is where I ought to be. Then the next week, I took the bus step and I registered. And from that moment, the first day it was, <laughs> it was what am I doing here? <laughs> first week, like, I don't know, I'm, is it the right place? But I keep hearing words of encouragement from the team. I, I, I come to think of it, it's a community. It's not like a, a career that one will just graduate and just leave. You see, even people that have gotten the job, they still keep coming back to share their knowledge, share their experience at work, share how they got a job, share everything. They are still back in the community. And look at Mike. I've never seen a man like Mike throughout my entire life. I've not seen a man so passionate for people. <laughs> 
not even himself. I, I don't know how many times he took time to take care of himself. I, I, I can't figure it out. Sometimes I ask myself a question. How is he taking care of himself? And I also want to thank his wife. He has a good wife. I'm telling you. It's not every woman we are, we are allowed that. I allow the program to take away your time and all that. He has a great wife. I do. I don't know. Thank God for the team. Thank God for Christ. Elanzo, the super child. <laughs> you all do an amazing job. You make everybody welcome, undermining their background, how they speak, how they look like. This is more or less like a home. That's why I see it. I, I, each time I hear Mike speak, I feel like letting him continue to speak. I, I listen to his video. Sometimes when I sleep, it's like I'm hearing his voice. Thank you, Mike. I, I can I can never thank God enough for you. I can never thank God. Oh, I pray for that God will keep you alive. God will sustain you. God will sustain you. For what you are doing for the entire world, God will sustain you. I love you all. I love you all. Wow. This is a great family. And I'm happy to be the family of Go Cloud. Wow. All thanks to my cloud president, Mike Gibbs. I love you all. Happy times giving. Wow. 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 That, Collins brings me to tears every time. We absolutely love him. He's a truly amazing person. But, you know, we had Daniel who spent $35,000 for a boot camp that was supposed to teach him skills or level him up. And then we retrained him and he got hired immediately. You know, what we tried to do was create something that anybody could afford with this cloud architect career development program anywhere in the world so that we could really change people's lives. And when I see these messages, it really just, it, it hits me. So if you see little tears in my eyes, it's just there. I love my students, love my team. And I'm just, it's, it's, it's exciting watching everybody get hired. I mean, it's, I don't even have the words. I mean, it, it was to just be able to be a part of this community, be a part of you guys and affecting this type of change. Um, and then also, you know, it was really, it was a pleasure. That I, I had a pleasure of actually meeting Collins during our um, our Houston uh, meet and greet. And he's such a genuine and awesome guy. And he's a good golfer as well. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah. Right. Yeah. That, when, I, when I saw that, when I saw that message come in, I was just like, okay, how am I going to, how am I going to do do this message because that, that was a four and a half minute message and yeah. i was just oh, like oh, instant. yeah i was i was it's watching more. it and i was just like i can't it's like okay we're just gonna put the whole thing <laughs> like there's no no other way to do it but put the whole thing because that that, that the was message, powerful. Powerful. And he hit, he so hit on something very uh very very spot on that i was actually going to get to um when i uh, I was going to do a segment about what we're thankful for. Um, and he, uh, he took one of my, what I'm thankful for. Uh, I'm thankful for my wife <laughs> because it's uh, the amount of craziness and crazy times that we, we have uh, long hours uh long calls long messages uh, taking over rooms of the house you know um, yeah the I, uh, I echo that. And, and just the amount of us that it takes but the amount of me that it takes from her um i'm de definitely thankful that she allows me to do this but he, he said it that way for you too mike he's yeah. like <laughs> he's thankful that your wife allows you to do it because at the end of the day mm -hmm. uh, it's you know we take away from yeah from uh, from our family but mm -hmm. to this is a whole nother family yes know? so yeah. so yeah i'm definitely so anyway segue into what i'm thankful for i'm thankful for my wife <laughs> and i'm thankful for for my cat uh 
that that tolerates me, as my wife said. <laughs> She's the cat right. is not mine. The cat is hers. So she said the cat tolerates me. Um, no, that you belong to the cat. You two, yeah. you both do. You know, and I, I, I could say the same thing, Chris, about my wife, and she allows me to do this, and and the sacrifices she makes to allow this to happen. She'll switch her very meetings around just so that I can have the free time to do this. Um, while I'm not trying to juggle everything with my, my children. Um, I have a stay at home son who does virtual school and she takes care of him while I'm on podcast. Um, she tries to find innovative ways to help me and resources so that we can be supported. My son, he shows interest in the cloud. Um, I'm very thankful for my kids. I'm thankful for my wife. I've known her 25 years. We just celebrated our 10 year anniversary this year. And she was a college friend of mine and we've got so much history. And so she knows me better than I know myself, but I think that's all wise for that matter. But being able to, to be thankful for being here, being able to be the, the cloud person who was working and trying so hard to find something that's that was clarity and i found mike and mike he's knowledgeable he's he's a good man he's honest he really wants people to succeed i have never seen such tenacity in someone who is willing to make himself sick just to ensure that people have the knowledge that they have he's good man kind man awesome man fun man he has such a good heart and it makes Chris and I defend him at all costs because he is such a good person on the inside. And, and I'm also thankful that I have a chance to work with you all. Chris has, he provides tenacity and focus and he has a no nonsense approach to the visionary <laughs> uh, uh, positioning that Mike and I also have sometimes, but he, I really enjoy Chris because he keeps us grounded. He's a good dude. He has such, um, and, and Chris says that he doesn't, he's not able to articulate, but I think I've gotten to know Chris enough to say that he has such a good heart and such a giving personality. And you may not have seen it from an emotional perspective, but the man spends a lot of time trying to keep this company going in innovative ways. He's his fortitude, his strength and character and his, his ability to do data is is exceptional and wanting to say thank you for every time that I, every opportunity just to work with you guys. And it's, it's an honor for me. And, you know, I'm obviously thankful for my wife and my giant family. I'm also thankful for my cat that I actually rescued. Well, I think I rescued, but she made me happier. So maybe she rescued me and I'm both of you, but Chris, he was the first guy that actually even told me we had a school. Yeah. I remember I met Chris for dinner and he's like, Mike, you have a school. I'm like, no, we've got a couple of students. And I'm so grateful that, that Chris joined me because, you know, it's a lot of things. And you, I'll get to you next, Alonzo. Chris is about the only person that I know that will say, Mike, no. On a consistent <laughs> basis. And, you know, when you're a leader, what you want is you want to hire people that are the smartest people in the room that are going to speak their mind to help you make the best decisions. And I know Chris cares deeply. I'm going through this vocal cord injury, and if it doesn't heal in more than two weeks, they need to do a biopsy on it and then, and then surgery. Chris has worked so hard to basically coordinate everything mm -hmm. and make sure that I was there and make sure everything's running. And Chris knows and Alonzo knows that my students mean everything to me and the degree that he worked to make sure our students are successful. And actually, Chris, and then Chris and Alonzo, you, you actually innovated and made the program better. And I'm also very thankful for you, Alonzo, and obviously all of our team, but you two I speak to the most as my C-level executives. And, you know, you're out there, you're working real hard. You're taking the phone calls that I can't make and you're doing them. You're saying, Mike, did you eat? Because, you know, the times I won't even eat to take care of my people. And Alonzo knows that if I don't do the physical therapy, you know, I lose my ability to walk and he knows that I'll forget to do PT, to take care of my, take care of my students. He always reminds me, hey, did you eat? Did you work out yet? Did you do your thing? So 
And then our students, I don't think people could understand who our students are. I mean, it's really hard to understand. We are lucky to have such a global group. I mean, our students love each other. I mean, and they treat each other in a way that I could only hope for. And I'm just grateful for that. Obviously, I got a great team of all the Chows and, and Leos. And, you know, we've got people all the way from Colombia to Cameroon. We've got Leo in Brazil and Manuel in Colombia. And we've got uh, um, Eddie in Cameroon. And we've got Anselm in Cameroon. And we've got people all across the U.S. And I just love that. I love how we're everywhere. And we can serve multiple cultures and multiple languages. And yeah, and if you want to, talk, yeah, let's let, let's get back to the, uh, yeah, I'm definitely uh, okay. I'm not going to go on very very, very much longer because I know we got more to get to. But <laughs> Mike mentioned it um, when he was talking about me that about about keeping all this going and and everything. But you know, there's a whole, and I know we mention them all the time, but. For some reason, they don't like to get on camera. Um, you know, we've got yeah. we have Leo from Leo. Brazil. Yeah, Leo. Wonderful. Leo, I think Leo was our second employee. Yep. We, so Love I was him. the first employee, and then Leo was our second employee. Leo does a lot. He sure does. Leo does a lot of work with our engineer program. Um. He's kind of like me. I don't like to let people know that I'm a data guy. He doesn't like to let people know that he's a he's an engineer kind of guy. But he he's got that he's got the knowledge to be able to do to to facilitate both programs, like the ability to be That's able to, do, to to facilitate engineer classes and architect classes. That's something that. And then the he's kind of like uh, he's kind of my like my no person. He but. But he and Chow both are like my no person. <laughs> they will, but, uh, but yes. a fireball of great. What? Chow's a fireball of everything good in the world. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so yeah. you know, I'm, I'm just I, I want to make sure that people are aware that these, there's these other amazing people yeah. that we can't get on camera all the time. Um, you know, we've got to, and then there's Chow. Chow was after we brought Chow on after we brought Leo on, and. Yeah, she's a fireball. Uh, she is a she's a very detail oriented person. She yes. and again, she is she is a no person to me. And we're saying no in a good way. Like I tell Mike no, but for good reasons. And Leo and Chow will tell me no for good reasons. But they help uh, that that they have helped for so long, and I know so many people are familiar with them. Um, you know, and then there's Eddie. We have Eddie that we brought on board after we brought on Chow. Eddie came right in. Eddie has uh, taken up a, a lead on helping people with their their first uh, few assignments, um, getting off the ground in the program, helping facilitate our classes. And then Collins and Tyrone and oh, Ebenezer great. and Anselm, though they they are our most recent team. So. Where where we were a year and a half ago when I told Mike, hey, Mike, what are you going to do when you get to more than 50 people? And he's like, 50 people? I'm like, you're going to need somebody. And this was, I was not pitching myself, but it ended up being myself. Um, <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're going to need somebody. You are not a organization guy. You are not an operations guy. You're going to need somebody. <laughs> and... Uh, now, a year and a half later, and of course, Alonzo, we brought uh, Alonzo's joined us since then. Um, but sorry, I wasn't trying to overlook Alonzo, but oh, Alonzo's, no, right. Alonzo's right here. No, He's kind of hard to overlook. No, <laughs> hard to overlook Alonzo when you see him everywhere. You're right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we've got so in that year and a half, we've gone from one to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it 10? I think so. I'm not counting anymore. That's going to take too long. And my whole goal was to take all the people that did certification training and help them get hired because I knew certification training wasn't enough. I didn't even see that we were going to have such a global audience so fast. Yeah, we were just trying to keep people from wasting time. Like like Colin said, you know, <laughs> he was looking at these things that were like 15,000 and 
and, and, and all these things. Even more. Our so. whole goal is to 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 stop people from going that route. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I'm thankful for: my wife, my cat, and all the people at Go Cloud Careers, mm -hmm. and of course my family. Uh, uh, I can obviously I couldn't do any. Yeah, I wouldn't be anywhere without my family. I could I could go on and on about about this, but we need to uh, move forward. <laughs> yeah, we, this, this could be its own show. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I like Greg's mm. comment. Uh, I'm thankful for Leo being super honest. Uh, that's, uh, if you haven't noticed everybody, that's how all of us are. <laughs> <laughs> we are super honest. Yeah. Um, and, uh, Oh, Sig is here. We tried to, we tried to soften it up a little bit, but not too much. Hey, Sig, see you in the chat box there. It's, we're just talking about you, buddy. Oh, if you're going to do that, then I'm going to do this. It's okay, um, Chris. You can bring your little baby girl, too. I got to find her. <laughs> My baby girl is not happy at all. It's raining in Florida. Yeah. And she's been in all day long. She hasn't brought in any lizards, any snakes, any birds today. She's all kinds of unhappy. Well, Mike, right. since we're we're um, gonna... in Texas, it's raining here, so don't look for sun anytime soon. Since we give everything we got to you guys. All right, so I'm gonna bring uh, I'm gonna bring that picture in. Mike's Mike wants to show Cindy. Oh, she's cute. So there there is Cindy the cat. She is our network engineer. Yes, um, she's an expert. She and... does all kinds of great things with Ethernet cables. She moonlights Power as books. security also. She does. <laughs> <laughs> actually walks the perimeter of the house multiple times per day. And if she sees anything that she perceives as a threat, she pounces on it very cutely, of course. Yeah. Brings it in and saves me the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeez, yeah. Geez. I don't think I can find a picture of Sunny fast enough. I got too many things on my computer. Um, all right. So let's see. I've got, uh, I think I've got some more, uh, we got some more videos here. Let me let me bring in bring in another video. Actually, I need to do a we need to do a quick break. Um, let me let's do a quick break and then we'll uh, we'll do a, a video we'll do a video messages and then we we'll get to number two on our our top five food list. So we will be right back. Hello everyone, this is Ilonzo. Want to know how to get your first cloud job? Then please register for our webinar. We'll teach you everything that you need to know and answer your questions along the way. Hope to see you there. All right, we are back. So like Alonzo just said, make sure you register for our webinar. Normally it's on Thursday, but today, mm -hmm. I mean, this week, it's gonna be tomorrow uh, because we are gonna be too busy on Thursday eating all these foods that we're talking about. So make sure to register for our webinar and join us tomorrow so that you can learn exactly how to become a cloud architect. So let's get, let's get to some video messages and then we'll get to number two on our list of foods. All right. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Hey everybody, my name is Madin. I'm currently I'm originally from Ethiopia. Uh, for those of you who don't know Ethiopia, it's located in eastern part of Africa. I'm currently living in Houston, Texas. Uh, I'm now three times AWS certified, and uh, I've been to Gokla community since September 8th. It's almost now three months. Uh, since I have joined the GoCloud community. Uh, and for the message I want to spread today is that I'm happy for having, for living today. Uh, I'm just grateful uh, to be a part of today. And also I'm happy to spend my first Thanksgiving with you guys. 
I'm happy to share this moment with all the GoCloud community. And I want to say happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Peace. Hey! Hey! Okay, so I'm thankful to have been able to see the end of this year. I'm thankful to have been able to have the opportunity to work in a great team. And I'm most especially thankful for my parents, my dad and my mom, who are recovering from their illness. And most especially, I'm happy that I got the chance to be able to take care of them. Thank you and happy 2023. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm here to say thanks for my truly insane family who I haven't seen on Thanksgiving for at least the last couple of years and that we'll be able to be together at this time. But of course, I'm also here to say thank you, Michael. Thank you, Go Cloud team and Go Cloud family. It has truly been a joy. It's been a rough year uh, for many reasons, but this has not been one of them. Thanks for the bright light. I appreciate it. Everyone have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Wow, awesome. it really I'm is. Bad. You know, I almost wish we could all go to Washington D.C. over Thanksgiving and get Ethiopian food. My favorite food is kiftu and jarrah and some of the Ethiopian spice lentils. Of course, I like darwood as well. Um, but you know, seeing that reminds me, we got to go to Washington D.C. and get some great Ethiopian food. I'm a foodie. <laughs> hey, uh, you got food? I got the I got the flight. <laughs> I mean, there's good Ethiopian food in uh, Miami as well as West Palm Beach, but. You know, like my friend who's my, my best friend is Ethiopian, says you got to go to Washington, D.C. to get the freshest stuff. All right. So speaking of food, let's get let's get back to our top five list. So making sure everybody remembers the rules here. We're going to put three items up and you get to guess who belongs to which item. Alonzo belongs to this. Chris belongs to that. <laughs> Mike belongs to this. So this is number two on our list. It's almost not fair, but. Okay, let's get to it. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Number two on our top five favorite Thanksgiving foods. Mm. Dressing, stuffed crab, and Greek salad. <laughs> this might be a little easy. But we'll see what they say. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know, I know you love the the, the salads, Alonzo. I know. Oh yeah, I love them. They're we delicious. gotta, we gotta keep it, we gotta keep it secret. <laughs> yeah, Greek salads. All right. all right, so I'm ready to see who likes dressing, who likes stuffed crab, and who likes Greek salad. Mm. All right, Greek salad, Alonzo. <laughs> <laughs> Mike salad, Alonzo crab, Chris dressing. <laughs> Mike salad, Alonzo crab, Chris dressing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm ready to see the rest of them. <laughs> yeah. All right, come on, people. We can we can guess. All right, Alonzo stuffed crab. The rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mike <laughs> salad, Alonzo stuffed crab, Chris dressing. Oh, here we go. Somebody's guessing differently than everybody else. Chris stuffed crab, Alonzo dressing, Mike Creek salad. <laughs> oh, all right. I there, love it. If there's Thank 54 you. people watching and only one, come two, on, two, guys, five throw or six in. People have responded. Come on and throw right. in. I want to see what everyone else says. Salad, Mike crab, Alonzo dressing, Chris. Mike salad, Alonzo crab, Chris dressing. <sighs> those dressings look so. <laughs> 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 oh. I don't well, I, I'm, not, I'm not going to give any of this. In case you can't tell, none of these are our actual pictures. Uh, we couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't organize fast enough to get pictures of our actual favorite foods. Um, so all of these items were from Google. <laughs> so this Greek salad is from Google. This dressing is from Google. The stuffed crab is from Google. So. 
I was going to say that. Mike Salad, Crabzo, Chris Dressing. Alonzo's menu is fire so far. <laughs> no, it's for George yet. Let's see. We got to fix that picture. I'll, I'll, I'll take a photo because it's yeah. missing olives and I don't see the oregano on the feta cheese. Yeah. I had to do, I had to get the best looking picture. A, it's a very good picture. It looks picture. good though. It yeah. looks so good. For, I, I love Greek salad. Yeah. So for, for uh, Alex on the call, out of pure respect, we'll call it its real name, Koryatiki Salata, which means the village salad. Because in Greek, Greece, we don't call it a Greek salad because it's Greek. Right. It's like Brazil nuts in Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, if you go to Greece, they'll have 10 salads on the menu. They'll have a Moruli salad, which means a lettuce salad. They'll have the Koryatiki Salat, which looks just like this. You'll see it. another other kind of salad. And you know what? They all look exactly tomatoes, onions, and cucumber. <laughs> all right. So since Mike has said, which one is his? Apparently, we already knew, <laughs> we already knew it. That was that was the uh, easy one right here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> gotcha. Oh wow, Chris, this is Thanksgiving, not trick or treat. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I'm on the dressing. Uh, Alonzo's on the stuffed crab and Mike is on the Greek salad. So to be completely honest, I don't know what that picture is that, that came up when it, 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 it and, and it had the word cornbread dressing in it. And I'm like, okay, yeah. well, well we're going to go with you because I got to, I got I to gotta hurry up. So that I, is supposed to be dressing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> not stuffing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never seen it with peas in there. That's a new yeah, one. Uh, I, just, <laughs> I, I was moving fast. Now, about the stuffed crab, I have no clue if that picture is accurate. Oh, it, it's not, but it's still delicious. If if anyone like, okay, there's, I've had there's two different ones, and I was I was kind of like tossed up. There's fried crab, and then there's uh, stuffed crab. So. With the stuffed crab, it's pretty accurate, um, and it's like delicious. Of course, you know it, it's got its all. Either you can do the Cajun version, which I'm a I'm a big fan of, or you can just do more of the East Coast version, like from Maryland, with Old Bay's and a lot of other cool cool seasonings as well. But mm -hmm. the fried crab, you can get. Uh, it goes right back to the to the. I I, I love big bold flavors, so yeah. you have these large king crab legs and then you can season them any way you want and then you uh kind of put a small little coating on there of the old bays and seasoning drop them in the in the oil lightly and then they come out and then you can just pull them all out and it's just these bold flavors sorry mike i do butter i'm sorry i know it's a travesty to the body but i gotta <laughs> I got to do a little sacrilege every once in a while. It is long. not a travesty to the tongue, though. Oh, a little grass-fed grass butter. Well, medically, I wouldn't advise that because we have to tell our patients to avoid saturated fats. Having said that, a little grass-fed butter, you know, yeah. that's debatable whether that's bad for you or good for you. It, it's it's grass-fed, you know. Or, or any, <laughs> it's it's grass-fed. and But you pull out, you have these large pieces, and it's just it's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I, I've got to try. I got to try stuffed crab for for Thanksgiving. I mean, I've had it's, stuffed it's crab, good. but not at Thanksgiving. So interesting. I can't say anything about dressing other than mm, 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 yeah. Mm. I can't talk about it because I don't know anything about it except it's it's good. Oh, yeah. I have a family member. Yeah, they make yeah. some of the best dressing, and it's got the gravy it? to go with it. Yeah. As they say in New York, forget about it. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I, I eat that stuff for like days. Yeah. Like that. See, this is my favorite thing about Thanksgiving. There's so much food <laughs> that I've got food for days. <laughs> yeah. We had to buy extra freezer. It was just like, I'm not yeah. throwing that away. You know, yeah. and just like, we got to say, we got to say it. it. It's so good. So this good. is the downfall. This is the downfall of living so far away from where we have Thanksgiving now is that yeah. I I can't bring it home with me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, find some dry ice and pack it. Oh. <laughs> You're good. 
got to be innovative, Chris. You know you got the innovation in you. Oh, I just saw a question that I don't know if I want to take. Uh oh, I gotta hear this. I gotta see. Actually, it. I don't know if I can take it. Um, what's the difference between dressing and stuffing? Uh, I can take that. Yeah, stuffing is cooked inside of a turkey, but dressing can be anything. For example, a good friend of mine, he's a Marine Corps sniper. He's got this girlfriend, and they're all on paleo like me. So she makes the stuffing out of mushrooms and chicken sausages. It's truly great every time I get to go there. Sounds good. And a lot of spices. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. So I, I don't know. I just, they're both good. Yeah. <laughs> and I, but I, I get, I get dressing, dressing. So <laughs> dressing is a little, it's, it's heavier. It's, it's yeah. denser versus yeah. the, um, the stuffing. It's lighter. It's, it's, uh, it's fluffier in a way to me. Right. I need to get Alex on here to talk about that. <laughs> she's a, she she's a foodie. She gets mad when I talk about dressing and stuffing. And Al, <laughs> Al, 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 feel free to put a comment in there. Al is an expert chef, and uh, he and I basically cook the same foods and are always sending each other pictures. He cooks a lot of Jamaican food. I cook a lot of Jamaican food. Oh yeah. Al's a yeah. chef, in addition to being a great architect and a great tech professional. All right. So I saw a question earlier that I want to I want to answer. I think uh, there was a couple of questions. I want to get to a couple of questions, but I don't want to go. I, I don't want to do a lot of questions, but if you've got them, you can bring them in. We just can't go forever because we got to save Mike's voice. And um, but there was a question. Um, Omar asked uh, asked about suggestions for temp agencies for cloud techs. Mike, any? well, there's there's lots of people that hire people in a temporary basis. Lots of organizations, but Omar, why would you want a temp agency? And here's the reason why. You know, this is not like help desk where you do help desk or a network admin when you come and do a two month thing. You know, a cloud architect can earn two, three, four hundred thousand dollars a year, and they're going to get stock options and they're going to get restricted stock units and they're going to get paid time off. And by the time they're done, you know, this is there. So it depends on the role you're looking for, Omar. But any of the big roles, like an architect role, they're not really temp positions. These are real full-time jobs working for big organizations. Now, implementation engineering things, that can be there. Um, Robert Half, for example, hires people on a temp basis, things like that. But And there's plenty of organizations that do that. But for the bigger roles, you don't want to be looking for temp jobs. Mm -hmm. Right. It's not, it's not like when I started and, you know, a network engineer was a $100,000 job. But if you work for a temp agency, you got paid $110 an hour and everybody worked 60 hours a week. And the CCIs were getting $300,000 a year back in 1999. In today's world, you typically earn better working for a big, good employer. Mm -hmm. And, our, you know, given those <laughs> limited time frames, and what what goes into creating solutions, what they're looking for is probably not going to yield you the, mm -hmm. the, the competency and, and things that you would normally use in that situation. They'll probably have you on something really small and probably isolated. So I don't think that yeah. would probably benefit you at all. And the reason yeah. they don't look for temps is, you know, these nobody designs an architecture by themselves. Like the African proverb, if you want to go fast, go alone, go far, go together. When you design an architecture, you're going to be working with a team of 20 or 30 people, and it takes time to meet the people and build the relationships to do the job. So these are not like temp roles. So to address all the people trying to tell me how to get my food home, <laughs> I can pack. I know how to get it home when I'm driving. Sharing is caring. <laughs> but I don't know how to get it home when I'm flying. So... Uh... I'm going to have to take all my ways of getting it home when I'm driving and transfer that to shipping, I'm guessing. Because <laughs> I can vacuum seal and freeze and then use dry ice to travel, but I'm not sure about flying, <laughs> flying with that. Anyway, um, we got another question from Angelo, and then we'll get to, uh, we'll move on after this. So, Angela says, this is a wonderfully positive and uplifting show. How does someone find joy or at least perspective during difficult times? 
that's a, I, I could, we could all share. Yeah. I, I think it, it, it's this type of thing. The one thing that is difficult for a lot of people is the lack of someone being there. This is a very depressing time for people who are lonely. They don't have family. They might not have any friends. But the thing is, is that as difficult as it might sound, try to find the positive from within. Yeah. Find that thing in you that wants to see another tomorrow, that, that has a goal. Formulate it. Try to find someone who can, uh, uh, like minds, um, you know, going, you know, going far, you can go, you know, going fast, going far, but going together is something that you can sharpen your, your, your continents against. But I try to, I'm trying to position it from a point as if you don't have those resources, looking within, remind yourself how beautiful, how valuable, how important you are, how you can change the world. If you just take that next step, one after the other, one step, one foot, one mile, one day, one month, one year. And you'll be surprised once you look over your shoulder, how successful you've become. That determination that you that you used as fuel to get there is something that can can create that joy in those difficult times. I'll, I'll give my perspective here. So mine, um, I've mentioned this before. I don't, I don't talk about it very much, but you know, I uh, I'm a recovering alcoholic. Uh, so, you know, I <laughs> I'm very acutely aware of having to find joy in difficult times. Um, so, yes, Mike, definitely. You, I was gonna say it, but I'll let you say it. Um, the from my perspective you kind of, you make a choice uh, of whether to, and I don't know, we're not speaking of any particular situation, so I don't want anybody to extrapolate this to a particular situation, but we make a choice of whether to be happy or sad. We make a choice of whether we're going to wallow in something or not. And I'll just use this, it, it, it's literally, it's a choice every single time. Um, I mean, obviously there are certain circumstances where you are sad, your, your, your family member passes away, your family member gets ill, you're, you, you have, uh, you, you get laid off, you know, obviously, but at some point you're making a choice of whether to continue, uh, or to ch change the way that you're perceiving it. You, you have, to, it, it, there's a choice in how you're perceiving things and how you're reacting to things. Uh, simple example. I was at the I was at the mall on Saturday with Alex, and we were at a store, and the line literally wrapped around the 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 the, the, the cashier stand. So it and I started my timer just out of curiosity. It took twenty three minutes to get to the cashier, but the people in front of us and behind us, the entire time, were complaining to each other and back and forth and. Me and Alex were just like, wow, this is, it's annoying to us because it's like, why, 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 why do you have to complain? It's, it's, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. There's not anything you can do about it. You chose to get in the line. You know what the situation is. There's no reason to complain. So, um, you know, if it's, it, it, so extrapolate that to if we're dealing with difficult situations and difficult times. At some point, we have to get over it. I, and this is coming from my personal experience. Um, I was laid off in the pandemic. That was a difficult time. I had to get past it. It's a, it was, it's a choice. It's an active choice. And that's my perspective. It's not easy by any means. It's a mental, it's a mental block more than anything from my experience. But um, it, it's just, it's how you choose to perceive things and how you choose to react to things. That's that's my my two cents. So, Mike, uh, I'll let you share it, and then we'll, we will get to uh, another message. And then I think we got a number one to get to. And, Angela, I have a lot of experience here in that it takes me three hours 
every day to be able to walk down the stairs of my single house. I have what's considered the most painful condition in the world. It's called reflex sympathetic dystrophy. That would be bad enough by itself, but I have five herniated discs, two torn radiator tater cuffs, and my shoulders, labral tears in both hips, and a foot that was so badly damaged, I was told just that would be enough to disable me for life. Now, I spent a lot of time with Navy SEALs and Force Recon Marines and snipers, and they, they taught me an expression, embrace the suck. They said, yeah. no matter how hard it gets, <laughs> make light of it. Take that yeah. negative thought that comes into your head and so energetic with a positive thought and switch it. I said, you mean like cognitive behavior therapy? And they're like, yes. Yeah. So it's funny. It's funny. We have to say, we, we say the same thing in, 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 as, in, in recovery uh, for, for alcoholics and addicts. It's the same. It was and, the same thing. And alcoholics and addicts struggle because they're on something that they use the modified brain chemicals and they need it. So, and it's part of the life. So, but I'd say, Angela, was realize how many good things you actually have in life. I have students that literally earn $200 a month working a full-time job, and they're still happy and energetic and enthusiastic. I've worked in neighborhoods as a, as a firefighter paramedic in my youth where I'd show up in, the, in some parts of Philadelphia and somebody would pull a gun on me. I'd disarm the gun, and I'd walk into the house and there'd be some sweet grandmother who was the nicest thing that I'd ever seen in my entire life that reminded me that there was still good in the world no matter where you go. So, Angela, I'd say the couple of things, you know, take everything in perspective. Believe <clears throat> me, life can always get 100 times worse than you think it is. If we're breathing, we're good. Never out of the we fight. Have a house, we're good. We are never out of the fight, as like Alonzo said. So the key is to take things into context. If you can, if you're healthy, you're already lucky. Many people don't realize it, but they are. If you're educated and you have the ability to earn a living, you're really lucky. Now we all have struggles, and I don't want to make life of them. There's family struggles, there's health struggles, there's financial struggles, and I don't make light of any of it. I'm just saying, Angelo, there's always something good going on. The key is, can you see it? Just look for it. And I personally, when I'm going through my three hours of physical therapy every morning just to be able to sit in a chair, I literally think of all the things that I'm grateful for. It starts with my wife. It starts with my cat. It starts with the fact that I'm still alive. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that I actually can run a company now instead of being stuck on my back. And in seven hours of physical therapy each day, it's down to three. And that excites me. And every time there's a cloud hired, wow. It brings me to tears, and I know I text Chris and Alonzo, and they're equally happy. So find the good. There's always some good. And for people that truly struggle, you know, sometimes there's a chemical thing that needs to be worked out inside of them. Go seek help for it. Yeah. That, that was going to be uh, – I meant to mention that. That, that. Sometimes you need to talk to people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I don't care who it is, a professional, yeah. a loved one, a support group, yeah. but find someone that can see things with you. Yeah. All right. So got a, uh, I've got another Thanksgiving message to share with you guys and gals. So let's see here. Um, all right. I don't want to learn how to do this. All right, this is another uh, pretty uh, uh, another special single message here. We've got greetings and happy holiday. Crazy. So I was debating if I wanted to do this, but I'm going to practice what I preach, and that is to get comfortable with the uncomfortable. So this is me stepping out of my comfort zone and I figured this is the perfect opportunity for me to express my gratitude. So the million dollar question is, what am I grateful for? First and foremost, I am truly grateful for God's grace. I wake up every morning with gratitude and a hopeful heart. I have so much to be uh, thankful for because I'm truly blessed. Secondly, I am grateful for my family, friends, and our cat Lucy, especially for my daughter. She is my best friend, my therapist. She celebrates my victory, 
and she lends a listening ear and shoulder through my sorrows. I couldn't ask for anything more than just a better person and just, she's my heart. And last but not least, Gold Cloud Career. I'm truly grateful to have stumbled across Gold Cloud Career. My mentor, Mike, Chris, Alonzo, Leo, Joe, Eddie, what you guys all are doing is truly amazing. You're transforming lives and impacting in such a big way. And not only have I grown professionally, but personally, you guys taught me how to be true to myself and to believe in myself. And it has made a world of a difference in my life. I can't thank you all for everything that you're doing. And may God continue to bless your work and everything you're doing. Thank you so much. God bless you, Tracy. That's awesome. Absolutely, Tracy. I love it. Tracy's so wonderful. She's a sweetheart. Very intelligent and capable too. Very. And, and to be fair, I, I, Tracy, if you're watching, I, I purposely, I, I don't know if you wanted the beginning of that to be shown, but I thought it needed to be shown. Um, because it's something that we talk about all the time in class and in the program about about getting uncomfortable. Um, and so you 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 mentioned it, so I made sure to include that. So sorry if you didn't <laughs> if you didn't want that <laughs> included. But um, thank you, Tracy, and thank you to everyone that's uh, sent in a sent in a message. So all right, so we've got. One more on our top five. And then I've got some more messages that will play. Now, what I want you guys to do, hopefully you've been taking notes. So after we do number one, we'll give you some time. We'll play, play some more Thanksgiving messages. And then we're going to close out with you picking whose Thanksgiving you would go to. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, so I'm what, gonna be alone and lonely. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's see if we uh, let let's see what our number one is from each person. Alex is coming over my place. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, you dead. <laughs> oh, all right. So, <laughs> number one. Let's see if I can make sure this works right this time. All right, so we've got lamb, chicken and andouille's gumbo, and tomahawk steaks are the number ones. So that's a mean. Just story. right now, I just need you guys to to pick who goes with which which of these. Later on, in in a few minutes, we'll we'll do a poll in the chat box. So I'm hungry. I only. Oh my god, it looks great. I'm hungry. <laughs> I can't get to Tennessee fast enough. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let us know in the chat box. This is going to be good. Who, who's going with the lamb? Who's going with the steaks? And who's going with the gumbo? All right. All right, so Alex says that all looks great, guys. Mike, you may not have anybody coming to your place. <laughs> I think Alex just gave up on you. <laughs> I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll still come eat with you, Mike. We just might bring some food with us. Oh, all right, there we go. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, that's a hard, it's difficult. <laughs> all right, all right, here we go. Here's welcome all my friends. Here's some guesses. All right, we got Mike Lamb, Alonzo Gumbo, and Chris Stakes. Mm. We got Mike Lamb, Alonzo Gumbo, and Chris Stakes. <laughs> um, let's see. I see the pattern here. I Mike see. Lamb, Chris Gumbo, Alonzo Stakes. Mike Lamb, Chris Stakes, Alonzo Gumbo. Okay, so <laughs> I think they figured out the lamb. And it's, again, it's down between who. Is it Chris on the steaks or Alonzo on the steaks? Is it Chris on the gumbo or Alonzo on the gumbo? Mm. <laughs> Mike Lamb, Chris Steak, Zo Gumbo. Mm. Not coming to all your Thanksgiving. So good. 
<laughs> and, and to be fair, it's a full lamb. Yeah. I mean, it's a oh, full man. Nike or sheep. Mike, Mike Lamb, Alonzo Chicken and Andouille Gumbo, Chris Tomahawk Steaks. Mm. Chris Gumbo, oh, Chris Gumbo, Mike Lamb, and Alonzo Steak. All of them, yes, all of them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, here we go. Mike Chicken. Interesting. And Alonzo Lamb and Steak Chris. Interesting. Huh. Mike Lamb, Chris Steak, Alonzo Gumbo. I see. I, I see where people are going with this. Yeah, I will join your table, Mike. Yeah, I, 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 I'd eat with Mike any day. Yeah, Tracy's week. welcome anytime. Um, right. I think Greg has some Turkish family members, so he's pretty familiar with Greek and Turkish food. Yeah. So he's Mike Lamb, Alonzo Gumbo, Chris Steak, uh, Sig, you are very welcome. Thank it's you always good today. to see you, Sig. Sig, we're thrilled to see you. All right, Mike Steak. Actually, you Alonzo do. Lamb. Chris Gumbo. Keep them Angelo coming. Says Gumbo is spicy. Right up Zoe's <laughs> All right. So, are we ready to see the results? Drum roll, please, Chris. All right. If I can find it. <laughs> Boom. Ah. I think, gotcha. this is the first, I think this is the first one they got us backwards on. Gotcha. On, they mm -hmm. thought they thought the gumbo was you. Yeah, they they kept seeing the the Cajun trends, and they just thought I was going to roll with it. I got you guys. Gotcha. Yep. 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 I am a consummate carnivore. Yeah. I love Brazilian steakhouses. I love tomahawk steaks. I love you know this being in Texas. I you know it, it's so. You know, you just a nice medium well steak with garlic butter. I'm going to town. You know, my my joke my my joke with my wife is like, okay, well, if it's the steaks or my or me, who's got to go? And I said, what's your favorite luggage? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just I'm I'm su I'm I'm surprised that they got us. Now I will say. Until I saw your list, I had never thought about steak at Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. You yeah. know why? Because we've had turkey since we ever I was I ever could spell Thanksgiving. I knew about yeah. Thanksgiving. And so my wife, she that woman knows how to throw a spread together. She she's a um innate event. Uh, person, she knows how to throw yeah. great events with the food oh. that goes with it. Oh, oh, ho, 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 yeah. ho, ho. Medium well. <sighs> I like a little pink in there. I'm sorry. I mean, it I doesn't. I don't. Know, I don't the, like the well. The well the needs to go out. The the well needs I don't to go know. away. Yeah, medium well, and uh, uh, I'll do medium well and well done, especially with my yeah. prime rib. So yeah. you know, some people, yeah. you know, I don't, I don't like it all torched. So yeah, <laughs> but it's so good. You yeah. know, sorry, I, I just had to, I had to call that out. The well done is, yeah, boo! Anyway, you don't, yeah. you don't cremate the steak, dude. My no. dad, my dad, literally will say he wants his steak like a hockey puck. Oh. That's yeah. when my wife eats hers. Um, oh, like, no. It oh. all has to be dark and charred through the whole thing. No. I mean, don't get me wrong. No. I like the taste of the char, but the to be. Uh, no, no, I I'm going yeah. to show yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I'm, I'm surprised we got the, 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 the got them backwards on the gumbo there. All they right. They said medium. Well. <laughs> <laughs> You're like that's where you lost me. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I oh man. All right, so I got one last thing. I got one last Thanksgiving message video. Now, I'm, while we're doing this, I need y'all to be thinking who y'all are gonna vote for. Who's Thanksgiving y'all are gonna vote for? So, and to be fair, I'll put up a nice little slide. I'll, I'll put up a. There you go. I'll let you look. At, I'll let you look at that. I'll let you look at that for a few minutes. And then I'm going to bring in this Thanksgiving video. So, so for Chris's Thanksgiving, you've got gumbo, you've got dressing, you've got fried turkey, which is kind of Cajun-y, just not slathered, sweet potato casserole, caramel cake. 
Alonzo's. You've got the tomahawk steaks, man. That the stuffed good. crab, Cajun turkey, all the way Cajun, all inside and out. <laughs> Mac and cheese and peach cobbler. And then for Mike's Thanksgiving, you've got lamb, Greek salad, spinach pie or spanakopita, green beans, or that F word that I can't say. That's a like, yeah. <laughs> or sweet <laughs> potatoes with skin on. Yeah. So be thinking about that. I'm going to play this message mm. while we, uh, while you guys are thinking, and then we'll come back to give you a vote. Hi, Mac and the whole team of Google Out. Uh, happy Thanksgiving Day. I just want to pass on my heartful and grateful message to everybody and especially Mike and the Voyager team. Uh, you have been so much helpful by sharing and caring about others who are interested in cloud. And I think so I have even passed on your message to my colleagues, my friends who have referred your video and your training sessions. It has been a pleasure. So thank you so much again and wish you and the wider team happy Thanksgiving Day and happy New Year, which is will be on the way in advance. And thank you so much. Hi, my name is Ricola Gumi, and what am I thankful for? I'm thankful for growth. Um, 2022 has been a rocky year, but I'm thankful for the opportunities, and I'm thankful for how the rest of the year will be. I'm also thankful for the Go Cloud career community. I've gotten the opportunity to meet with fantastic people, and I also had the opportunity to collaborate with them on my journey as a cloud architect, and this is one of the things I'm very thankful for. I'm thankful for what 2022 still hold and what 2023 holds as well. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, Goka family. This is Alan Wang. And I'm so thankful for being in this platform with all of these great people and knowledgeable people, especially Chris Johnson, Alonzo, without forgetting our chief executive officer Michael D that I found on YouTube and which direct me to take these classes. I'm so thankful and this is Thanksgiving coming up. I wish happy Thanksgiving to everybody and to all your family out there. Thank you. Stay safe and God bless you. Thank you. Hi, I want to use this opportunity to say Thank you, Mike, for your service to humanity. Actually, what we are studying here, if we want to equate it with what we pay, it's almost nothing. I want to thank you for your kind heart. I want to thank you for the lives you are changing. You are laying down your life to ensure that people get hired, people change their life and live their dreams. That is a marvelous work you are doing for the community and the world at large. Thank you for your service. What are you waiting for? Join us and let's get cloud higher. Say ya. Uh... Awesome. I love these messages. Not only do I love hearing from everyone, but I love that we've heard, we've got people in South Africa, Nigeria, Cameroon, Ethiopia, India, Pakistan, Middle East, Asia. I mean, US, Canada. I just love that we're together from all over the world. All right, so I'm about to put the poll in the chat box for all of you. Make sure you vote and vote and vote. We got I gotta know where you're going. There might be a surprise option for you. Ciao. I'm all thrilled Robert's coming. We'd come. <laughs> are y'all able to see how many people have voted so far let's see Wait. all right i got there we got 13 votes and we're at 50 for alonzo zero for me <laughs> 20, 29 29 for mike and 21 percent for the go cloud family meal <laughs> <laughs> I would love to have everyone over. We love to we love to have guests. So 
I have to get some folding chairs. <laughs> yeah, I don't have people around too. We used to have more space before I dedicated two rooms to Go Cloud careers. One is a video room, which we're building. One is uh, my office. Another place is filled with raid arrays and servers. Still want people over. We can we can make it work. Wow, nobody wants my gumbo more for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So my favorite thing is gumbo. Period. Literally. Gumbo once I, once the once I only eat the turkey while we're making the other food. Once the other food's ready, I'm done. I'm going to the gumbo and going the dressing. Back to the gumbo. That's it. That's it. Oh man. All right. We only got 20 votes so far. Hey, I got a vote for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't for me. <laughs> so we only got 20 votes so far. And there are how many people? 40 something people still watching. Um, apparently, I guess nobody wants any of this food. Oh, I'd, I'd eat that. I, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I had some relatives. They had made some mean caramel cake, and it, it was delicious. So I I would eat everything on on both your lists. And oh, I'm, yeah. I love lamb and Greek. My there was this place, and I, and I think it was just for the Middle East, um, Midwest, but they had this Greek chain. Um, it was called Olga's, and my mother loved their uh, spinach souffle. So that spinach pie reminds me of of the things that she loved to eat. So she would eat everything on Mike's menu. I guess I guess I should have made it more clear that the Go Cloud family meal was all of it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, family, the Go Cloud careers family pack. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try this tomahawk steak. So I've never had one. Oh my gosh, that is my favorite cut of steak. It's just imagine this huge steak, and it's just it just it tastes like the fillet of the steak. I mean, what, it's is it a fillet? Is it a porterhouse? Is it a ribeye? It's more of a porterhouse, oh, okay. um, just okay. one large, yeah. But it's just just the cut of it. It's just wonderful. I'm gonna make that. And Chris is muted again. If anybody wants to put any last votes in, feel free to put in some votes. But I don't have any more show for you. No, well, I I made a mistake. It's it's a ribeye. What am I talking about? It's it's a tender ribeye. It's just a giant tender filet of ribeye is what it is that's just that's just the consistency of it it's delicious you love it mike i do like a good rib ribeye i was visiting with a celebrity at one point that a couple of years ago and he ordered a ribeye i never had one in my entire life because i always ate filet or new york strip and loved it it was really good yeah it's just you add that garlic butter on top of it and sometimes you can use a zip sauce Just That's don't correct. try to do do everything you need to do before you eat it because you're not going to be worth any good <laughs> trying to do anything after that All stage. Right. I had to put the list back up there to try and get me another vote or two. Come on. Everybody's got to have some gumbo. Go for the family meal. <laughs> you know, if I if I had my if I, you know, voted, I would just go visit everyone with Tupperware. Right. Exactly. That's it. That's a big, that large set of Tupperware at. and and a. In a cooler in the in the back of my um, my Tahoe, <laughs> so <laughs> just like hey everybody, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, like I said, this is all we've got for y'all. All it was was food. <laughs> so I want to I want to thank everybody for joining us uh, for this special Thanksgiving week episode of um, Head in the Clouds. And uh, we hope that you enjoyed it. And if you didn't get, if you're not hungry, watch it again. And and then yeah. you'll be hungry. I'm hungry um, now. <laughs> I'm probably going to make a I'm super hungry. cut of all the foods. <laughs> so uh, anyway, uh, before we leave, I just want to point everybody. I want to make sure everybody is aware that we've got our Black Friday discount going on through Friday. Um, and this is our largest discount that we ever do. This is 35% off of any program, and it also includes payment plans. So this includes our, our Cloud Architect Career Development Program, our Tech Career Accelerator Program, and our Tech Interview Mastery Program. And if you're wondering what the difference in all those are, guess what? There's a phone number down there. See, right there, right there. <laughs> and... There's also an email address. 
that you can email us. And there it is in the chat box. Make sure I spelled that right. I did. So take advantage of that discount. It won't be around forever. Especially take advantage of it now while our base price is still the same. Um, you know, unfortunately, we are going to we're going to have to be increasing our prices. It's an unfortunate nature of yes. everything at this point. Um, everybody, uh, whether it's a streaming service or a Big Mac at McDonald's, everything's going up. We we tried to hold it off as long as we can, but we it's sure just, we've absorbed as much as we can. So take advantage of that while you can, while it's still at the base price. The With that discount, you can get our Cloud Architect Creative Development Program for $649. That is less than two days pay for the average Cloud Architect. Hey, we got another bot and another bot. Oh, there we go. They were, guess they were hungry too. Yeah, so apparently they want that discount also. Um, <laughs> but, uh, and, and if you need, uh, if the... If you need to look into the payment plans, the payment plans are there as well. So take advantage of that while it's available. Now, also, tomorrow we have our weekly free How to Get Your First Cloud Job webinar, as or as I'm trying to rebrand it, the How to Become the Ultimate Cloud Architect uh, webinar. Uh, that will be tomorrow. Uh, we normally do it on Thursdays, but this week, because it's Thanksgiving, we're doing it on Tuesday, tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure to register at the link and join us tomorrow for that. So sure. I don't have anything else. I've got too much food on my brain. I have to go <laughs> eat. It's 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 getting to me at this point. Do you all have anything else to to add? Um outside I, I just wanted to say if we you know people who are traveling or otherwise for the holiday, be safe, um, take care, um, really think about your goals and how we can help realize that as we work together as a community. If you have anyone, and this is echoing Chris's, uh, what Chris said, I've come across a lot of people who have friends who want to uh, transition to uh, being a cloud architect, but they don't feel like they want to make that journey alone alone. You guys come together as a group, join our community. We'd love to have you. Um, nothing. Um, uh, it's just an amazing experience, both on our side, as well as uh, the community of students uh, from all over the world, from Canada to Cameroon, from uh, France to, to Frisco. I mean, we it, this is something that's special here. Um, and just we want you here um, as a community. So please join us. I came out of retirement to get anybody that wants a cloud job, a cloud job. This is the cheapest price we'll ever offer this program for ever again. So if you know anyone that's looking to build their best career, now's the time. We love what we do. We love our students. We love all the cloud hired messages. And we just want to help you get to your goals. And then Chris is, of course. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. And uh, happy Thanksgiving again. We hope you all have a great week. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye. Bye. See you. Be safe.